et internationales mettent les pôles à la rue afin de relancer les négociations pour lutter contre le changement climatique, la ministre de l'Environnement fait des discours avant une salle vide. Personne ne s'intéresse au discours conservateur en matière d'environnement parce qu'il est tout droit sorti d'un autre siècle. Attendre de voir ce que les autres vont annoncer, ce n'est pas de leadership. Quelles mesures le Canada mettra-t-il de l'avant à la conférence de Paris en 2015? that includes all emitters and all economies. And I was very pleased to hear many other countries speaking at the UN forum yesterday, agreeing with Canada's position, and that's showing leadership. Canada has consistently been moving to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in this country, at the same time growing the economy, and we've done that without introducing a $20 billion carbon tax. Our plan is working. We can do both and not one or the other. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Halifax. Important for Canada, but it is also an opportunity formidable for plusieurs industries who œuvrent dans the development of technologies propres. Le Canada sera exclu des décisions et des partenariats qui vont se développer à New York. Pourquoi les conservateurs privent nos entreprises à de ces opportunités économiques? Bravo. Madame la ministre de l'Environnement. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as I've stated before in this House, Canada's greenhouse gas emission level represents less than 2% of the global greenhouse gas emissions. Canada has also one of the cleanest electricity systems in the world, with 77% of our electricity supply emitting no greenhouse gas emissions. Wow. Our sector-by-sector -sector approach in Canada is working. We continue to see greenhouse gas emissions decrease, while at the same time the economy growing, and that's being done in partnerships with the private industry in this country, and we are doing this without introducing a $20 billion carbon tax that would kill jobs. Thank well, you, Mr. Speaker. Any credit given to the electricity sector is thanks to the provinces. The federal government is not getting the job done, and we're playing catch-up to the U.S. This so-called sector-by-sector approach ignores the single most polluting sector. The oil and gas sector makes up 25% of all emissions in Canada, and its emissions are predicted to triple. What we get are re-announced vehicle regulations that won't even come into force until 2017. So once again, when will this government introduce their oil and gas regulations? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Mr. Speaker, I was very proud to announce further action that we're taking related to reducing greenhouse gas emissions in the auto industry. We announced that in uh, New York this week. At the same time, we're moving forward to introducing regulations for the heavy-duty vehicles, again, that will result in further reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. And again, we're doing this without introducing a $20 billion carbon tax that will kill jobs in this country. Leadership means being out in front, not following the U.S. because you don't have a choice. Nothing that's been re-announced this week will get Canada any closer to meeting our emissions goals. In fact, we're going to miss it by 100 million tons or more. That is not leadership and nobody is fooled. So instead of bragging about what little this government has done, can the minister explain to us how it meet, plans to meet its climate change goals? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we are very proud of our record in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. In 2012, Canada became the first major coal user to ban the construction of traditional coal-fired electricity. Yeah, 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 and good. the United States followed suit in 2014. Now that's showing leadership, Mr. Yeah, Speaker. Yeah, yeah. We are also the founding member of the Climate and Clean Air Coalition that is focused on taking immediate actions that's producing real results. In two years, we are moving forward. I encourage that member to read the annual report that was released at the UN, demonstrating that we are taking...